Hey, Mike. How's it going, Sean? Pretty good. Uh, we finally got our hands on uh, One Hop, which is kind of their other rotating morph type series, even though it's not morph, but... No, it's their more recent. Yes. So uh, this is actually their um, One Hop this time, Topaz, yep. which is, um, as the name says, it's hopped with just Topaz. Um, Topaz has actually been around since the 80s. Yeah, this is actually an interesting choice because of its history. Yeah, it's usually just made for used for bittering. Uh, aroma, aroma and flavor didn't really come through up until, like, I think it was like 2012, I read that... Um, they had a bunch of brewers kind of like taste five different single hop beers. I think Galaxy was one of them. I forgot the other other ones, but this basically got picked as the best one to use for single hops. So since then, awesome. people have just been using it um, for uh, for actual uh, flavor and aroma. This is so the tasting notes on Night Shift site says uh, juicy orange lime and apricot notes, pleasant bitter finish. So I guess for bittering that makes sense. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Now we've had this. Yes. We've had it in growler form. This is obviously in can form. Um, they just started distributing the one hop this time cans to stores. It used to be just brewery only, so we should be able to get them more often. Um, I don't know if we're going to do them as often as Morph just because yeah. <laughs> yeah. if we did this, would just turn into the Morph one hop this time podcast. <laughs> yeah. We'd be like their official marketing as you can see, team. The, yeah. As you can see, the, the, the can looks pretty much like... Like the morph can in a sense. I, the same I, colors. I do like the font colors. though. It's a little more. It's a little more edgy than the morph. It actually kind of looks like the font we use in a sense. Like a little bit. Like, yeah, like handwritten yeah. almost. So this is a very hazy, golden. Mine looks different than yours. My. That's because you poured it a little more aggressively than I did. This is really pretty. Yeah, it's very it, hazy though. Yeah, it's like, but it's a very, very like. Um, almost like a like a really bright yellow. Yeah, bursting like, with 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 like sunshine. Yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah, I like it. And the head retention on yours is really good. Yeah, it might yeah, be. yeah. This is like it's like a nice creamy, like just like plain white. Yeah. Ooh, very oniony. Yeah, I guess I'm onion in yeah. there. Yeah. Definitely, you get a lot of a lot of citrus and tropical fruits, but grassy. Yeah, I was I was gonna say you get like a, almost like an earthy, grassy, and like a, a, a bitter citrus, like 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 the lime or lemon. Yeah, um, almost like the rind. You get in that like kind yeah. of yeah. Yeah. I'm so used to like uh, the uh, the morph series and and all the double IPAs we tend to drink where they. There's just so much explosions of stuff. There's so many different kind of hops. Like yeah. this, this is interesting just because, like, I think the more and more we have these and stuff like that, or more any any single hop IPAs in general will help us, like, you know, become more familiar. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Should we take a sip? Yes, sir. sir. Cheers. Cheers, sir. Hmm. We definitely get the bitter bite. But like you get like a burst of like tropical flavors and yeah you do it's um it's a lot more um one dimensional is not the word I want to want to use it would be it wouldn't be a a, a long shot to say one dimensional no but I, but I don't think it's a I don't, I don't mean it to be a negative thing you know okay. it's um you're definitely getting that 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 lasting bitter finish you get out of uh, typical out of a, a topaz yeah, yeah. um. Um, I don't, I'm not getting a tremendous amount of juice, um, but I'm getting, I am getting some citrus notes, um, very much of like, um, of like, um, of like, like the fleshy, like, almost, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. uh, the, there's a word for that and I never remember it, but, um, it, it's really like, um, clean finish too. Yeah, it, it it's it's definitely. I think the bitter at the end is a little too bitter for me, but a like, bit, but yeah. but it dissipates relatively quickly. Yep. So then it kind of like I, I guess the pleasant bitter finish makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> pleasant dish. Yeah, it's it's there's there's a lot of like lemon lime. I don't yeah. really get the apricot notes that they mentioned. Like usually, I I pick up the apricot really well in like Santilli and Morph and some other yep. other other stuff, but. I don't know. The apricots aren't really coming through for me in this one. I'm not either. I'm this getting the sweetness because I, I, I would expect the apricot to bring a little bit of sweetness, and there's not too much sweetness in this. No, 
Uh, and, and the the bitterness is is really weird because it's not super piney. It, it's something else. It's resiny. Yeah, resiny. Yeah. But yeah. Like. Yeah. But yeah, you kind of like lemon and lime a lot. I feel. Yeah. It's interesting. It's. I think I like it better than I did the last time we had it, but yeah, it's still like I, I do as well. It's still not like a, a home run for me, but then again, this is I don't think these are supposed to meant to be like No, not your socks off beers are supposed to be it's supposed to be an interesting thing to just, you know, um well, it, showcase it, the hop and that that they're trying to use. Absolutely, yeah. So what would you give this? Um I would probably go three and a half. I was gonna say three and a quarter, but three and a half is good too. Um, I was being a little generous. I don't mind going down to three and a quarter. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I like it, and I would, and this would be some I would never turn down either. Oh no, I, for sure. Just, um, I, I think as it's getting warmer too, it's getting a little better, but it's getting juicier. But yeah, I, I I'm I'm good with 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 three and a quarter. Yeah, because I, I mean, like my taste is definitely toward, uh, especially with night shift products, it's toward their their. They're, uh, Juicier, less bitter. Yeah, yeah, and and they're they're stouts. Well, yeah, of course, love them. The best. Yeah, but you can't really you can't really no. read this on this. That's not a stout. No, I'm just saying like 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 this is not this is not the beer I go to night shift for. Yeah, what yeah. I'm getting it. Right, right. Yeah. Know? Oh, for sure. But never something I'd ever turn down. Oh yeah, I, I agree. I, I actually, agree. it's it's a nice beer, and I would actually recommend anyone try it, especially oh, if yeah. you're less familiar with the character of single hops. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely all about like trying these single hop beers just because it gives you a better education on the aroma and what, what to ex- and like how to pick it and you'll be able to pick it out in beers where it's just kind of mixed in maybe you wouldn't notice as notice as much. Yep, yeah. awesome, cool. Well, uh, Nerd Sense three and a quarter. Um, check us out on uh, nerdsense.net and from there you're jumping point to Twitter, Facebook. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube page. Like this video. Let us know if you've had this. Let us know if you've had any other other one hops. Um, which one of your one hops is is your favorite? And um, any other final thoughts? That's all I got, sir. Well, I'm Sean. And I'm Mike. And this this is is Nerd Sense Drinks. Drinks.